So how would you describe the labor market in anticipation of what the Labor Department is likely to tell us tomorrow? Well, for the Recruiter.com Recruiter Index, recruiter sentiment turned down a bit from 3.3 in June to 3.1 in July. It stands markedly higher from the beginning of the COVID-19 outbreak and the subsequent economic shutdown. So 42.6% of recruiters now say that COVID-19 is greatly affecting their recruiting activities, a significant increase from the 16.3% in, in June, and does mark the end of our th third month-over-month -month increase, likely due to the increased COVID-19 case rate reporting from various states. Yeah, and again, this is out of five. So basically, we had climbed up to 3.3. Now we're slipping back some, but not dramatically. Uh, also, another data point jumped out to me was the average number of open roles per recruiter is down to 15 uh, in July from 20 in June. Still the lowest point in April was 12. So the, the picture that you're painting matches up with what a lot of the data is telling us, which is that the economy hasn't maybe lost a ton of momentum, but it has stalled out. And in some cases, certainly in the labor market's case, you know, moved a little bit back. Um, I, I don't know if you guys do an actual kind of pinpoint forecast for what that would likely mean for the July jobs report, but yeah. what directionally does that tell you? That's so funny. You know, I get so many questions of, you know, from the Wall Street, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? What's right. going to happen? You know, the interesting thing is that if we look at the, the April number and our index really is a, an average of both the short and long term sentiment. So the low was really in April when it was 2.3. In May, it jumped to 3.0. In June, it was 3.3. And now we're back to 3.1. So it is a decline, but not a cliff, really not a cliff at all. And if you look at the next and we'll publish the report probably tomorrow. If you look at the next 30, 30 days and 90 days, over the next 30 days, 77.8% of the recruiters believe demand are going to stay stable or increase. And over the next 90 days, 55.2%, again, predict overall demand will improve. So I think all in, it's pointing to an increase in employment, but at a slower rate than we saw last month, but certainly there's optimism for the next 90 days. And also one more thing in here, and this goes back to uh, one of the data points in the official report people follow, which is the number who are on temporary layoff. Um, you guys found that a lot of the recruiters see these setbacks in terms of openings and hiring as momentary, that they still think demand for talent will stay stable or increase over the next 30 days. I mean, 78 percent of recruiters think so. Is that just wishful thinking or are they telling us that, you know, there is that the economy is more resilient than we imagine? People just need a little bit more clarity. Yeah, so I, I think that when you look at recruiters, what are when are you using a recruiter? And we look at our network of recruiters and their, uh, their, their jobs that they're involved in are either what we would call precision, right? Find me a very specific individual or find me lots of a certain type of individual more on the staffing side or temporary staffing.